Hi there, this is Al from GamingGeek.net and today we're going to take a look at Dreamcast widescreen hacks and how they look uh, on the Anbernic RG503. So the RG503 has a widescreen. I think it's 4.95 inches, right? Almost 5 inches. And it's really good for playing uh, PlayStation Portable games. Nintendo DS games that don't require touch and any games that uh, are compatible with widescreen hacks. Um, the game that I want to take a look at today is Spider-Man. Uh, originally released on the PlayStation 1. There was a Dreamcast uh, port of it that uh, that works with uh, widescreen hacks. So we have the uh, PlayStation uh, 1 version loaded so we're gonna take a look at this first the PlayStation 1 version we'll skip that uh, just so we have a good point of comparison right because we want to be able to see whether we want to be able to say whether or not uh, the Dreamcast version is worth playing right worth the upgrade so we'll skip this we can't skip that oh there you go so this is the opening sequence of uh, Spider-Man. Hey Spider. Hey Black Cat, what's going on? I know there's been some trouble, but the bank's being. You know what? Let's skip the. There you go. So this is the how the game looks uh, on the PlayStation One. Follow the Spidey compass. All right. So it's it is kind of pixelated here on the Anbernic RG503. All right, and as you can see, we have these black bars on the left and right. Just let's just uh, play a little bit of uh, PlayStation One version, so that we can really get a good feel of uh, how much better the Dreamcast version is once we actually run that. All right, so. Uh, just to talk about my history with this game, I originally played the PC port, right? Well, back in the day when it was first released, I played the PC port of the first game, and then I played Spider-Man 2 uh, via emulation using the using a PC, of course. And recently, when I re revisited this game, rather than playing the PlayStation 1 version, I opted to play the Dreamcast version. And man, that was much better. Right, let's just play this real quick sequence of uh, beating the bad guys in that um, building. All right. Yeah, I mean, it looks it still looks good, but you know, uh, it, the graphics are definitely rough. I bet I can get into the bank through the top of this building. Cat was right. It's the Jade Syndicate. The Jade Syndicate. Oh no. So I was gonna drop. Alright, I mean, fall from the building. Let's get that so that we are full on health. And I think there's a. webbing here too? Oh no. That's the last one. Alright, so did you get a good feel of how this game looks? Where well, we're gonna load up the Dreamcast version in 3, 2, 1. All right, loading the Dreamcast version, and we're gonna start it from the beginning, right? Because I want you guys to see uh, how. Let me just lock that. All right, this um, OLED screen is quite reflective. You can see what I'm uh, recording this uh, video on.
All right, there you go. Now we're gonna turn up the volume a little bit. So I did, uh, like I mentioned earlier, I replayed this game and I was able to move my... I wonder what Spider-Man I'm gonna use. Let's just use the typical... Man, I wanna use Scarlet Spidey. Alright, let's use Scarlet Spidey. So we're gonna uh, replay the first level and then replay some uh, later level, right? Um, all right, let's see how much different this looks. Technology is the light that will cut through so cutscenes are still um, in the usual format. We'll skip this. All right. Spider-Man co-creator Stan Lee here. Once again, we find our hero Peter Parker, better known around the world as the Amazing Spider-Man, in a heap of trouble. So cutscenes still the have these black bars because so it's trying to give you that letterbox effect. With thrills and chills, twists and turns, more super villains than you can shake a web at, and of course, non-stop web slinging, wall crawling action. All right, man. Scarlet Spider costume looks hey, really good. Hey, Spider. Hey, Spider. What's that. going on? I know there's been some trouble, but the bank's being robbed, and they've got hostages. Use your Spidey compass to get to the bank quickly. Thanks, Cat. Right now, look at how much better the graphics are. Of course, um, this is a just a widescreen hack, so it's not the official way of how this game is played. So. Uh, elements of the HUD or the heads-up display still think uh, you're playing uh, on a 4x3 aspect ratio. Gotta get to that bank. Right. Still thinks the TV is um, not widescreen. But of course, now we can see um, more of the area, right? Spider sense tingling. So you will here. get those effects wherein the game doesn't know that we can see the more of the screen and so it only applies the effects on the 4x3 screen but I think come on look at that right it's still worth playing the Dreamcast version over the PS1 version And there are only a few handheld devices uh, that can give you this experience. Right? Widescreen Dreamcast. You've got the RG552. You've got the 503. You've got the AYN Odin. I'm not sure if the Loki's already out. Later on, the Retroid Pocket 3. But not even the Pocket 2 Plus can give you this this large screen, right? Large screen. And, uh... Wow, look at that. When I'm hurt, these will help restore my health. So you know what? I am going to skip to a much more interesting stage. I think... You know what, let's just beat this game, uh, I mean beat this uh, area. There, see, much wider. The graphics, the, the polygons are sharper. Man, it's just this, and the frame rate I think is much better too. This, this is just better played on the... I wonder if the enemy that we were trying, that we kicked off the... Ledge is still alive. That's why we're we're not progressing. Let's see. Did he fall down somewhere? Is he still alive? It doesn't look like that's the case. I'm not sure why we're not uh, 
proceeding with the siege. Maybe there's another enemy here. No, you didn't see. Oh, there you go. That's the last one. Hope these hostages are still all right. All right. So we're gonna load up another stage, and let's take a look at how that looks. All right. So I am loading one of my favorite. At the same time, most hated sequences. But how? Venom is invisible to my spider sense. Knowing your luck, Venom will find you. Have faith, Spidey. Where could she be? It's the God Finder. God's choice. Yeah, one of my um, favorite and at the same time up, most hated sequences in this game. Move it, Spidey, move it! Ugh. Gotta keep moving. Oh no, he's gonna. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna take a shortcut. Look at how much better this um, sequence looks on a, on a widescreen view, right? Oops. Gotta keep moving. Yeah, this is one of the most tense uh, sequences. Oof. Wow, I mean, one one episode we get to see the spider armor, we get to see the Ben Riley Scarlet Spider costume. Huh. And we get to see the funniest sequence in this game. Or maybe one of the funnier sequences. I think there's something else. Oh, sorry, lady. Didn't see a thing. Even funnier. Alright. Chasing after Venom. Man, don't you agree? Playing this on the Dreamcast instead of the PlayStation 1. With the dream with the white screen hack. Oof. No, I'm gonna lose him, aren't I? Wait for me, Venom. Please. Just a little bit. Come on, dude. Oh no. I mean sure, the there are sequences uh, that go into letterbox. They kinda ruin the experience a little bit, right? There, man. Oh no. Yeah, this is why uh, this is also my most hated sequence, right? Well, once you get it, I haven't played this game in quite a bit. So I'm rusty. Gotta keep moving. I think it's better if I use the D-pad. Yeah, it, it controls much better. Gotta keep up. Get the spider armor. Ah, uh, the old trusty spider. 
I wonder how this is gonna look once we're actually fighting Venom. I wish there was a way to disable the black bars too. Yeah, Bam's gonna head there, but you know, we can just head him off at the pass here. See? And then I just need a little bit more consistency with my jumping and web swinging. Can't lose him. Can't lose him. I won't lose him this time. Oh, I took a sharp turn to the left. Right, I mean. I'm right on top of you, Venom. Yeah, I got caught him. All right. All right, boss fight time. much better because we have a wider view of this stage Ooh, where where, where is he all right anyone who's played this game and knows the sequence oh no where is he would know that the extra the extra I mean, screen visibility. Oh no. It's very handy. I wonder what's going to happen if I... Get the Spidey. Where are you? Brains, yummy. Come to Papa. Oh no. Oh no, come on. I was trying to. Oh man. I was trying to save them. I was trying to save the health refill. But now, oh no. Uh, we don't have the advantage of having the spider armor. Hey guys, if I don't beat Venom in this episode, don't don't hold it against me. Ah, we had such a good big advantage. Ha <laughs> ha 
Oh no. We threw away such a big advantage. Yeah, seriously. It's it's changed. This episode has changed from demoing the white screen hacks to beating Venom. All right. All right. I think that's good enough. Now for this episode, I'm not gonna force it. Yeah, I did beat this game already, so uh, why force it? We're just gonna go into. The final boss while we're wrapping up this episode. There you go, Doc Ock working with Carnage. You will never get past my barrier, Spider Man. Alright. Look at how good this uh, level looks, right? On widescreen. Don't you agree? Oh. Figured it out. Man, I can't help but continue playing. Yeah. All right, so that's it for this episode. Uh, Can I jump over them? All right. Yeah, once again, this is it for this episode. Spider-Man Dreamcast. Uh, on the. And Brennick RG503 it looks really good, especially if you use the widescreen hack. Look at look at this. Uh, no sense playing the PlayStation One version over this. That's for sure. That's it. Oh, I'm trapped. So hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoy beating up Doc Octopus. Once again, this is Al from GamingGeek.net. Talk to you in the next video.